Hello, I'm going to show you how to carry your baby in an ergo baby embrace, facing out or facing the world, depending on how you want to call it. Okay, so it's super simple. I've got my baby set up on my front here, and I'm just going to turn my baby around, or you can just like prepare your carrier and just slide your baby in, in the facing out uh, position. So I'm just going to loosen, going to grab my straps here. Loosen a little bit on each side. I'm going to bring my hands inside the carrier and I'm going to lift my baby over my shoulder. So, this really take your time to do this. Turn your baby around, go really slowly, especially if your baby's quite heavy. It's quite a bit of a job to do. And then here I'm going to really let my baby's bum slip nice and low. I'm going to keep the arms under the straps so I've got better support for myself if you do want to get arms out your friend is really going to pull on your shoulder quite a lot so I would really recommend you wear with your baby uh, on, on the straps and I'm going to just retighten I'm going to lift the slack off my shoulder just guide it around like that and same on the other side so it's nice and comfortable and then Make sure your baby's bum's kind of dropping over your waist belt. You might want to play around with the height of the waist belt, but if your baby's still quite small, just make sure you have it quite high so you're shortening the panel at the same time so the head is not covered by the fabric, okay? So this positioning, we recommend you do it around the time your baby's got very good head controls, which is roughly around five months. Um, if you do that before it, you'll be kind of forcing your baby's head to hold and then the baby's head will be leaning back on you. So really just do wait for really good head control. Make sure also the panel is never covering the face so the airway should be always, always visible and clear. If you find it's a bit difficult, so something like this happens and you find it very difficult to keep the airway clear, lift your baby's bum and then Bring your waist belt really nice and low, high, sorry, on your waist, even even higher than your waist if you're a short person like myself, and let your baby's drum bum drop over like that. Okay? So here we still got some good M shape positioning. It's nice and comfortable for my baby. Uh, if your baby falls asleep, you turn him around immediately because otherwise it's quite a high risk of suffocation. If your baby cries, turn him around facing you as well. Sometimes they can become a little bit overwhelmed and then they just want to have some feedback and see you, it's important. Um, always, always monitor your baby, use a mirror, a sling mirror or your phone or something like that so that you keep an eye on your baby. You can carry facing out as long as you want but the re recommendation is to do it for 20-30 minutes at a time. Reason for that is that it's going to really pull on your shoulders after a while because your centre of gravity is shifted forward because the weight is shifted forward so it does pull <laughs> quite a bit um, and also like it's not the most ergonomic way to carry but it's totally fine to do 20-30 minutes turn your baby around when you're done you want to turn around you do exactly the same you loosen the straps bring your arms over and you can even lift the bum over like this take your time do this really slowly never looks very glamorous but fine <laughs> and then we're going to guide the legs back inside under the straps like that let the bomb drop and i'm just going to be tight and i'm good to go thank you for watching